Around our multi-generational house, we have lots of aches, pains, and cold hands. So we went searching for a hot water bottle, and this is what we purchased from Amazon. Maybe like us, you're looking to ease common aches and pains with the comfort of an electric hot water bottle, or maybe you just like to beat the climate in a freezing office and have an easy way to warm your hands. So here's our team review of the Toyugo Electric Heated Hot Water Bottle. It says 15 minutes charge time on the box, with up to five hours of running time. It comes in two colors, brown and gray. We chose the brown because it was on sale for less money. And it says here, PRM filled, perm filled. I'm assuming that means pre-filled, but let's just open the box and see what's inside. What led us to purchase this hot water bottle is that it charges directly and comes pre-filled with water. That eliminates risking potential scalds and splashes encountered when boiling, filling, or emptying traditional hot water bottles. It also eliminates water leaks that occur when a traditional hot water bottle isn't properly tightened. Inside the box we find the super soft cover that warms hands and regulates the hot water bag's temperature. It is very, very silky, and I believe there's a little pillow inside. It's a little cushy thing. And there's a warranty card. This is our first time using their products, so it says that they're happy to make, if you're unsatisfied, they'll make the product good. So let's see about that. We find the electric hot water bottle that's pre-filled. And we find the charger, along with the user manual. The charger appears to be very lightweight and kind of looks like a stapler. Haven't seen that before. And there's the user manual with some specs and such on it. To start, make sure the water bottle is flat. Lift the safety cap, take the electrical charger, and plug it into the heat storage receptacle in the hot water bottle. You don't have to push hard here. Then plug the power cord into the electrical outlet. Once you plug it in, the light comes on and the unit will begin to get hot. Simply wait 15 minutes to heat the water with the electric charger and slip the unit into the fleece cover. The heat is said to last five hours. While we wait for it to heat up, let's talk about what not to do. Don't leave the unit unattended while charging. Inside the water bottle are sealed electrical components, so take care not to puncture the unit. Pets or children might use the unit as a toy and scratch or puncture it, so do supervise usage. Remove from the bed after use to avoid maybe sitting on the bottle or poking it with elbows or knees and possibly damaging the fragile components. Don't charge the hot water bottle with any other charger than the one provided by the manufacturer. Interestingly, while it's heating up, it begins to talk to you. It's bubbling. I'm just going to assume that's a good thing. So, as you can see by the timer, it's been about 6 minutes and 30 seconds, and it's plenty warm enough to use now, but we're just going to let it go the whole 15. At 8 minutes and 35 seconds, it's actually boiling. You can hear it. After about 10 minutes, the light went off, and I don't know if it feels quite hot, especially on the edges. It could burn you, possibly, if you just apply this directly to your skin, but we'll slip it in the... Like right under here, it feels pretty hot. So we'll slip it into the bag and let's see what that does. We're removing the charger and we're gonna slip it into the bag and see it, it feels quite hot this way, but it actually may just be warm once we get it in the bag. But let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's gonna warm your hands nicely. Beyond that, I don't know what we're gonna get here. This is our maiden voyage. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Look at that hand warmer. So for a football game on a fall evening, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, if you had some stomach cramps or some muscle aches, and it feels kind of like a damp heat, I think it could be good. I think it's going to do nicely. It's obviously not as big as a traditional heating pad, but, you know, if you want something that's a lot wet, I mean, it's not light, <laughs> but it's small and easily easy to carry around. So, yeah, if you had cold hands at work or you have stomach cramps or a shoulder ache, yeah, this is, this is nice. 
So after a few minutes of playing with it, it feels mostly like this, this insulating pack will keep it nice and warm for five hours, but it feels like it's just going to be warm. So if you're really having a shoulder ache or you really want more intense heat, I would wrap it in just a regular towel and try that. I think that's going to give you more relief. But I think we're going to enjoy this portable heating pad. It seems like it's going to provide convenient relief for stomach cramps, arthritis, aches and pains, stiffer sore necks or muscles, and lower back. And if you've used this product before, let us know the good, the bad, and the ugly in the comments below.